He's right on top of us. That's all right, guys. <laughs> oh shit, he's right on top of us. Rob, crash dive, crash dive. Take us as deep as she'll go. I want you that crash diving. I'm gonna watch these friggin' barrels come down. Guns, new heading. Hard right, one eight zero. I Hard see him. One eight zero. He's missed. Yeah, do it, do it. We can avoid his barrels. We can avoid his barrels. Yeah, you screw, you screw, boy. Splashes. I reckon this this turn will defeat him. Death, no, death 25 meters in a second. Additional splashes. I can see his pro. Hello, Valley viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. We've recently finished our massive Carrier Command 2 campaign, and that gives us a few weeks to do something else naval. And of course, that takes us back to our German World War II submarine sim. Wolfpack, so welcome back. Now things have changed. We're on the beta version now, so things have changed. A lot's changed, in fact, since we're in here last. So, um, first, a look around the ship. Is this control room, guys? What's it called? The function of it is the same. It's just the graphics are slightly different. If we were to go forward, we get this little room again, uh, like a communications room there, and we get sonar here and hydrophone, and all this kind of captain's area and stuff. Uh, it used to be sealed off here, but now we have an addition. We have this bunk area, we have this le toilette, and we have this son of a bee. Neil, can you go on the, uh, give me a call on the phone. Roger that. This is our front torpedo room. We've got 12 torpedoes down here, and here's where we load them into these tubes and stuff like that. This is not uh, working, fully working yet. Oh, stand by. Someone's on the phone. Com check. Thank you, Neil. Goodbye, Neil. Uh, that was just Neil, by the way. Uh, you can see where this game's going, or sim was going, obviously. You can see uh, it's not going to be that long before people are here shuffling around torpedoes into tubes and checking pressures and doing all that stuff, phoning each other. So that's pretty cool, right? All right, uh, then we're going to move our way aft. Come on, guys. Chop, chop. Try not to hit your head on this thing. If any of you have watched, haven't watched the new Wolfpack series on Netflix, I suggest you do. It's awesome. Um, I never understood what this room is, but it's still whatever it was. Now we've got this sleeping area for the boys and Cortana. We've got this toilet. This damps naughty room. When damps naughty, he gets shut here, so he can't do any more damage, obviously. Um, cook's area. Engine room. Neil, can you turn the diesels on? Roger, sir. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Thank you. Here we've got the battery in. This is where all our electricity is stored and does stuff. And no idea what it does, but it does a thing. Oh, and you can flood those engines, by the way. And of course, forward torpedo. Uh, sorry, backwards torpedo in the back, aren't we? Uh, down there is a torpedo, there is a torpedo crane, and there's how you can fire torpedoes out the back. Um, again, it's not finished yet, but you can see the whole submarine is now here, which is so awesome. Okay, guys, um, the conning tower, up in the conning tower is still the same, I'm going to show you just in case. Here's our um, uh, navigation, if you remember, for potting, for instruments, our dive officer equipment, our helms equipment, communication equipment. Up here with our TDC operator, there's your TDC, it's an analog computer for uh, computing the torpedoes. There is our uh, primary uh, periscope, and our rear other one is down there. Up here, of course. We've got the... I don't know what this is called. I don't know the words yet, Valley Viewers, but I think it's a bridge, maybe. I can talk to the boys through here. I can look through here. There's my deck gun for shooting stuff out there. So. Hello, Cortana. Um, and we've got a uh, AAA gun for shooting aeroplanes. Uh, it's a fully immersive multiplayer submarine. And it is really hard as well, as you're about to find out. It's incredibly difficult. That said, we are going to go and do a proper mission. Stand by. All right, guys, everyone out to Discord. Welcome back, Valued Humanoids. We're in the sub again. Um, we're going to be rubbish, obviously, because no one can remember how to play, but we're going to do our best. Let me introduce you to my crew. We have cats. That's Rob, dive officer. So, hello, sir. Hello. We've got Cortana, who everyone knows. You are looking very manly at the moment, uh, but you are mainly TD TDC and probably getting us out of trouble. Um, Sounds good. Yes, guns. Cap, I'm, in the back, I'm in the back of the sub and I don't have permission. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope we leave him. I'll, I'll open it. 
Ah, <laughs> guns! We can have fun with that, but he gets <laughs> That's guns. I'm being nice today, and, uh, because you've got a nice short back and size, I'm letting you in. Guns is our new helmsman. Um, Neil is um, associated with the developers of the game slash sim, so it's great for him to reach out and say hello, Neil. Thank you, sir. Appreciate he's, it. He's not an expert, but he will. He knows a lot, a lot more than us, obviously, and so he's going to help us out. Right, guns on helm. Rob on dive. Neil will be helping us navigate because navigation is extremely difficult. Um, plus, anything else he sees fit to do. Cortana's going to be up with me in a tower, doing torpedoes and also general other work that needs doing. I'm going to be on the TDC trying to make a video for you, the valued viewers, and to. Um, shoot stuff down. Right, uh, Cortana, can I have you please on the observation scope to help me do initial spotting, as you're better at it than me. Affirmative. Should be on the surface now. Spotted relative zero eight zero. Uh, it does appear to be quite some distance away, and it's tough to tell, but they might actually be stern on to us, so they might be going away from us. Oh, well found, Cortana. Uh, well found. Guns, please, full ahead with diesels on a heading of break. Two eight zero. Full ahead, two eight zero. Aye. Is that a military ship or a merchant? Do you think, Cortana? Well found, by the way. I don't think I ever would have found that. Um, so I've got three um, that are sort of together between. Well, the oh, yeah. bearings obviously changing. So I've got those three, and then I've got one off to the left that's smaller. That yeah, one could be military. So we're gonna find where that could be, like a little flower Corvette or something. Yeah. Right. I want to stay away from him. I do not want to tangle with. Him guys today right so that means i'm gonna actually change where we're going guns please change of course two three one zero full ahead three one zero full ahead aye we can start identifying that rear target which looks like a nice target for us cortana are you looking at the big one yes the big one so uh, our absolute heading is going to be pretty much bang on zero. Oh, that guy yep 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 yeah Okay, split stern funnel. Uh, guns, course 305, please. So just five degrees to the left. Roger, 305. Thank you. I see one mast, Cortana. Or, no, there's a mast behind a funnel, question mark. No, it doesn't matter. I'm getting it wrong, wrong here. How many masts do you yeah. see? Yeah. It's difficult to make out. It really is. It's so far, big... all. Yeah, it's split. It's got an aft. Uh, engine and it looks like it might have a forward island. I'm basically, but that's all I've got. Thank you, um, guns. I'm pretty much plowing straight towards it just to get a little bit closer, and then we'll start going tactical. Probably on their starboard side because I don't see any obvious. M I'll scratch it. Military ship heading uh, abs uh, relative zero one five Corvette. Do you see that guy? He's miles off. He's there. Ah, affirmative. Yep, yeah, I see him. Son of a bitch. Come on, I want an easy drive. Oh, I see the problem. Mm -hmm. This 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 ship it uh, targeting. Mm -hmm. Look at it now. It's weird. It's two funnels. Yeah, it's two ships. It's two ships. There's there's a there's a second ship behind. There's a second ship you behind it. You got it. You got it. Okay, Cortana. What we're going to do is our old trick. We're going to select whichever side looks less militarized and go alongside it and overtake it and set the trap. We've got their rough heading. The rough heading is pretty much where we're going, about 300. Zero, zero. What we need to find is which is their less defended side, left or right, because this is our only chance to make that decision. I see one Corvette to the yeah. right, or possible destroyer, I can't really tell. Is there a still, we need to check if there's a military ship to the left. I believe that there is, roughly um, right off the nose, right off the bow. If you didn't particularly want to die, which I'm guessing you don't, which side would you prefer to go on? Uh, I mean, we can stay where we are. Are you going to shoot from behind? Heading. Uh, no, but... Crap. If you go around to the left, that's probably yeah, a got safer it. option, given you, given where we already are. I want to maintain about eight kilometers distance to them, and we'll, we'll pass them. Um, I've got a probable on the uh, um, contact in the rear of the convoy. Um, Ooh, nice Looks work. to me like a medium tanker type nine. Right, well found again, by the way. Our side 44. Neil, I'm going to get you a nav It's possible to do something different, but uh, I'll, I'll keep having yeah, an eye we'll, at it. We'll get better views. Neil, can I give you a possible nav plot? Yes, sir. All right, just give me a second. I've got to just do some stuff. Relative bearing of 038. 
for seven kilometers. Okay, zero three eight. Guns. Gun, helmsman, two seven zero, please, full ahead. Two seven zero, full ahead, aye. Into spaces away from them. Second contact blocks. Am I? You got it. Also, Cap, I'm I'm not so convinced that this guy at uh, at uh, zero four five relative is actually a military target. Oh, I really? think he's just a really I think he's just a really really tiny merchant. That would be nice because it means we've got an open open goal. Yep. Roger. Well, I'm just spacing. I need to space us off. Um, this some spacing us off this side. Absolutely. All right. Well, so far we've got. Two seven zero. Thank you. So far. We've got five merchant ships in our sights, guys. I may need to revise the uh, the first guy. It looks like he might actually have three islands. I can see the forward one from the get-go, but it uh, looks like there might be a central and an aft as well. Can you see that really big one at the front with the king post? God, that's big. That's so oh big. Oh, my God. Yes, that's a yeah, that's, ocean that's, liner. that's juicy. We're going to... We're, we're gonna we're gonna go for that guy. Yeah, I'll switch our ref, our so, nav ref to that. Yep. So K M M F. Yeah, K M M F. There we go. K M M F. K M M F. Oh, I got heavy tanker type twenty-five. Yeah. Can you? That, uh, that looks right. Wow. Can you? Put it down and I'll, I'll get back to it. Mast height uh, is 31 meters. Neil, we're going to give you some more info. This is a new nav plot. We're actually changing the um, we're changing the guy that we're looking at here. So oh, yeah, I think they've detected us. They're they're maneuvering. Dive, dive, dive. We can still save. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, engine off, engine off, engine off, and tell us when it's off. Check hat shut, please. Cortana. All in. Stop. Uh, dive. Hat is, hat is shut. Diving. 11.5 meters, please. And when we're down to 11.5, please maintain it pretty well. Um, half speed ahead on battery power, please. Helms. Half speed aye. There's a good chance we can get away with this. Okay. Just passing 10 meters. Big Fatty is maneuvering away from us, but I'm pretty sure they're zigzagging. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen yeah, this before. Uh, carry on as we are. What we'll probably have to do is let them settle down again and then start from scratch. By the time we can o actually overtake them, we should be. A they should have settled down. Yeah. It'll take quite some time. Roger. Maintaining about ten and a half meters. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out of practice, guys. Um, oh, I got too close. Uh, right, I'm going to do a nav plot on this guy anyway. Right. So he was. Oh gee, I forgot where he was now. He was 31 meters. Wow. Yeah, my bad. I got. I got within six kilometers. I got carried away. Stupid. Um, Neil, can we have a new plot, please? Uh, this is essentially a new, new plot with a new ship. Relative bearing of uh, zero six zero four six kilometers. Right. So make a note, guys. If we get within about six and a half kilometers, we get spotted by the AI. Eleven meters depth. Cortana, I see a guy coming for us now. Uh, destroyer, I think. Relative zero eight four. Alright, going downstairs to confirm. Sorry, yeah, I thought you... Affirmative. Okay, well he's not obviously charging us, so... Keep moving. No, he's not. I'm going to keep my scope down a bit. Uh, general practice from now on, guys, when... Well, you're probably doing it already, but when we're not on the observation scope, make sure it's docked, please. Alright, flower class Corvette. Oh, it's a flower. God, I hate flowers. Yeah, they're harder to hit. Observation scope down. Roger. I'm pretty much docking mine as well. Hopefully we'll sail past. Uh, annoyingly, Flowers is charging us now, so... Alright, I'm going um, periscope down. Um, can we go full ahead for a bit and get some displacement? And can we make a turn to 285 full ahead battery power, please? 285 full ahead, right. Yeah. You happy with the depth cap? Yeah, I mean... Just over 10, 10 and a half metres at the moment, 11 metres. So oh, he's, okay. he's, he knows down. our position, so I'm just going to put some, try and put some displacement in there. A uh, slightly different angle. Make sure we don't wear the batteries down completely. And then we'll come up, come up hopefully we'll get bored. Someone watch the battery. Uh, Rob. 
Uh, Rob, tell us when um, bu- 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 we're at 13 and stabilised. 12 metres and still going down. Okay, just hitting 13 metres and I'll check it stabilised in a minute. Ah, <laughs> he's given up. You lose, flowers. You freaking lose. I'm just going to give him a, uh, gonna give him a little few more minutes, guys. I don't want to rush it. Oof, right. Uh, f- 15 metres now. I'll just try and bring us up a bit. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go and check my guy's morale. Morale is my key... Uh, importance here guys okay guns tell me about your morale my morale is excellent sir you hear that guys model freaking sailor here even though we're getting hunted by flowers guns is like i don't care rob tell me about your morale i've had two beers and i'm drinking on duty <laughs> perfect neil how, how are you doing today i want to remind the captain that gretchen is waiting for me at home there we go you see so i want to make sure i come back Cortana, how do you feel about the shaky start so far? Uh, I mean, it could have been better, but uh, I think I think we can recover. We can recover. That's right. Correct attitude, guys. Right, I'm going up to check on Monsoir Flowers. Right, uh, we're going to turn away from Flowers just to get out of spotable distance. Um, can we get on a heading of 260, please, guns? Full ahead. Keep an eye on the battery. 260, aye. Okay, ladies and gents, we're just trying to keep away from this flowers. Second flower spotted, but he's miles away. I'm not going to worry too much about him. Flowers is now cold, guys. Flowers is cold. Oof! You, sir, made an error today. Give it a few more minutes. I'd rather do it good than bad. About 13 metres depth at the moment. Okay, they are at 23 milliradians. 23 milliradians, which gives us over 8 kilometres, guys. Oof, 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 oof! Right! Put us on the surface, please, Rob. Okay, we're coming up. Fingers crossed. Should be good to run diesels. We're six and a half metres depth. That should be good for diesels. Diesels on, full ahead, current course, please, Helms. Current course, two six zero, going diesel. We're back in the game, guys. We're back in the game. Cortana will take big duty as our as our bullseye. Country. Alrighty then. It's 15,000 tonner. Ooh, thinking if I can work out his angle on bow here, I can tell his heading based on his relative bearing. So if his relative bearing is 085. Um, Neil, are you ready to start taking uh, nav plots again? Bone. Who's got that? Where is the phone? Right. Hello? Roger, thank you. Airbanks are fully charged. I think he was in the back. Was that Neil giving us some proper meal sim? I nice. think so. All right, guys. The plan is working. We are 90 degrees off their port. Should be running about six and a half, seven meters depth. We should be more or less decks awash. Thank you. Rob and Guns, can you find a way of charging those batteries? We will need them. Is Neil back in yet? Yes, I'm back yeah. in the control room. Are you ready to start taking nav plots? I am. Uh, you can pretty much scratch everything you've got now because it's a new chase and our new guy is, standby, relative bearing of 0889 kilometres. You got it, baby. We are right along that port side where we want to be. We're a bit rusty, but we're getting there, guys. Ultana, when we make our strike, we want to put multiple tor- torpedoes into this. One won't sink him. Uh, yeah. That's probably a good idea. Right now, I've got a, a two torps. Uh, two torpedo salvo selected. Can I have someone on obs? I think we're we're, in, we're we're safe. Can we have someone on observation scope just to help me do 360s to check for random escorts? Go and switch one of your telegraphs to charge batteries. Just one of them. Um, either one. Either one. Yeah, I can do either one. Just switch the ports on to charge batteries. Roger, switch your port to charge batteries. Got it, boys. Hold as well. Neil, how do we know when our batteries are charged? He's got a battery gauge a, here at the health station. Yeah, I got a gauge here. All right. Yeah, guns watching it. We're seven out of nine, but we're drifting a little bit to the port. Current, uh, right, you're going to have to make, um, you're going to have to adapt because we're only one prop spinning guns. I need you to maintain right, right. 260. I hope you've got your yeah, sea legs, valley viewers. Say, say the percentage? 80%. Oof, nice. Let's have a look at flowers. 
Bowers is there, off there, he's got no interest in us at the moment. He's not pinging sonar. Battery is fully charged. Okay, both ends is to, to propulsion, maintain 260, full ahead, 18 knots. Let's do it. Roger, full ahead. Okay, humanoids, let's go and blow some friggin' stuff up. Once you've been in subs for a while, 18 knots feels like light speed. Guns, new heading 270, full ahead. 270, full ahead, aye. Yeah, they're getting uh, away from us a bit. Just airing on the side of caution at the moment. Uh, someone up, Dave. Uh, Neil, we've just changed to 270, our current course, FYI. Roger that. Let's check our angle on bow. Angle on bow is now. Oh man, that's hard to judge. That's a hard one to judge. What do you think, valid viewers? If I know my shadows right, I would say there's an angle of about of about 115 degrees. No, of about 105 degrees. 105 degrees port set. Yeah. Where's Monsieur Flowers? He's nowhere to be seen. See your flowers, you friggin' douchebag. Man, they are getting away from us. Okay. They are at a relative bearing of 0, 096 for 10 kilometers. Guns, can we have a, a 10 degrees right pull? So, new sh uh, new submarine heading of 280, please. Pull ahead. Yeah. Uh, update, that was not course update, Neil, by the way. Roger that. Navigator requests permission to step away from one minute. Granted, you navigator, we're going to make an adjust course again. Um, helm 290, full ahead, please. 290, full ahead, aye, Captain. Nav, did you update the head course change? Yes, sir, we'll do. Nav is ready. Relative 084 for 10 kilometers. Position marked on the chart. Thank you. Oh, hey, that looks good, guys. Look at that. So, their line of best fit is something like that. Plus, they wiggle about, they never go in a straight line, they always wiggle about to make shots hard. So they're going something like that, we're going something like this. I'm going to pull us right again, guys. Um, what are we at at the moment, guns? Uh, 290, full speed. Uh, can we have 300, zero, zero, full ahead, please? Nav update. 300, zero, zero, full ahead, aye. Neil, do those nav plots of the bad guys have timestamps on them? And follow-up question, can we garner a rough convoy speed from that? Uh, I think I can put timestamps on them, and you could you could do that, but it'd be really rough. Uh, the easier way to do it is once you get a little bit ahead of them on the side, and they're on a parallel course, Yeah. you can shut your engines down, and then uh, measure, start your top watch, stop watching the ship that you identified starts crossing the vertical crosshair and after about 30 seconds to a minute it'll come to the end of the crosshair and then we can really easily calculate the speed that way that's probably the fastest way okay. as long as you have one ship that you're really confident yeah the, uh, the id a passion liner is always really easy yeah i've got a bullseye ship it's a big fatty they're swapping and changing and wiggling about a bit but i'm keeping my eye on it we're going to get up nice and close with these. Well done, what's our minimum shot range? Uh, probably about 500 meters. And oh, then that, oh, kind of be pushing it. No, I won't get that close. Yeah, yeah right around um, two kilometers would be very comfortable. That'd give us a run time uh, on the T1s of just under a minute and a half. This guy's draft is six meters, by the way, Cortana, which is smaller than normal. Affirmative, I've got him set to four. Right, as best I can tell, he is bearing zero nine zero for nine point five kilometers. Nice, it all fits perfectly, look guys. I'm the best fit. Bearing in mind I've got plus or minus zero point five kilometers for my ranging accuracy. Sure. That's, a, that's a nice line of best fit there. You may want to identify there's the the one ship that's uh, closer to us than that guy. You might want to get in identified, and I can try to uh, set up a second solution on that guy. So is we'll it, fire on... Is it Man 3 that you're talking about? The tiddler? Uh, not sure. Um, are you on scope? Or are you doing this by memory? 
Doesn't matter. I'm by memory. Roger. Uh, yep, yeah, I see him. I'm going to call him Tiddler or Boat Thury. Uh, what do you want from me for him? Um, we just need to identify him. Right, it's yep. going to be small. All right, carry on as we are, guys. It's going to be small. It's going to be Mast, Mast, Funnel, Island. It was engine placement rear. Roger. It is, it has an island between mast one and two. So it's got two islands. Okay, it looks like a medium tanker type three or something similar. One of those. Mm -hmm. need viewers, help me out here. What, what are we seeing here? How tall is the, uh, the central uh, bridge? About the same depth as the hull as it's loaded. And it's that, that bridge is 50% down the length of it. My best so far is Light Merchant 34. Oh, I'm almost certain it's Light Merchant 40, 34. Let me do some more checking. Guys, it's Light Merchant Type 34. I'm adding it to ship list. It's 21 meter uh, mast. So once we get the torpedoes out on the other guy, we'll, uh, we'll line up a shot on that guy and uh, fire off a single at him and see if we can score three hits. Roger, yeah. nice. Uh, what's your best guess at their speed? Well, well, that's the thing. Its maximum speed is 14. It's unlikely they've all got such a good maximum. So my guess is 10 to 12. Guys, anyone, um, any other viewers think something different between 10 and 12? Sounds like that. Sounds like a good bet to me. I mean, we're there giving us a good run for the money. We've just, just beaten their beam. I've never had such a problem catching it. <laughs> Confirmed uh, 18 knots guns. Uh, 18 knots confirmed. Alright, let me take a reading. Uh, are you ready for a reading, Nav? Nav is ready for a reading. And by heading 103 for 9.5 kilometers. Okay, position marked. Yep, looks good. Guns, please make heading. What, are we on 300 zero zero at the moment, guns? Roger. Make heading 310. Nav update. Yeah, we're sort of skirting around and slowly coming back in. As you can see, value tuber noise. The yeah, they're moving about half as fast as us. As you can see, if we've covered from there, if we've covered that distance, they've covered that distance there. Can I measure it? Yes, I can. So we've travelled about nine kilometres in the same at 18 knots. They've travelled about three kilometers. That suggests they're doing a third of our speed, a third of 18. It's actually only six, guys. The max... The convoys run between five and eight knots, typically. That says six, yeah. All right. I'm going to keep uh, I'm gonna keep computing that as we go. Uh, we'll get it more and more exact. Guns and nav update. Um, can we have a new heading of 320? Full ahead, please. 320, full ahead, aye. Yeah, we're slowly pinching into the in front of them now. Cortana, when you get two secs, just give me a whiz round on the um, observation scope, please. Get that. Roger. Fire's checking it. It's all coming back to us, guys. It's all coming back to us now. You looking clean, yeah, Cortana? Okay. Hostile is zero nine three four ten kilometers. Marked on the map. Oh, baby. That's a beautiful line of best fit. Right, I'm going to get an updated uh, speed calculation reading, so... Bradley viewers, feel free to um, check my maths or recalculate my maths. So if we've done 12 kilometres now, they have done still only about three or so. They're, they're going a lot slower than I thought, guys. It was my... That's why maths is better than opinion. They are going slow. Just keep it going. Yep. Cortana, they're going to be going a lot slower than I had first anticipated. Got a way of uh, oh, calculating the speed. If you want, we can actually, since we're given our position, we can take a pretty accurate speed measurement just by crossing the time it, um, or by uh, recording the time it takes for them to uh, cross in front of, like across the center of the scope. Roger. I'm pretty happy with what we're doing, to be honest, um, Cortana, and I don't think we actually need to stop. I think by the time we're intercepting, I'm going to have got a pretty decent average convoy speed. Roger. Because as long as we keep moving at a set speed, all I do is measure their distance travelled to our distance travelled. Therefore, time is equal. 
I can then just I can then just get a coefficient. Hey Captain, while we're going around this convoy, you got 30 seconds to give me a synopsis of the Grim Reapers and their history. Oh Jesus Christ. Right, well the name came from Break um, two things. The 493rd American Grim Reapers USAF base, which is just a few miles from away from me. Also, when I was 14 years old, um, I ran a very small paintball club known as the Grim Reapers. Uh, 20 years later, I started doing uh, a small YouTube, making very, very silly uh, DCS videos and decided to call it the Grim Reapers. Seven years later, here we are. Neil, let's go. A couple of your other Wolfpack videos. I was really impressed. You guys are pretty cool. Yeah, where it's a t Grim Reapers is not about, particularly not about playing the game extremely well. It's about teamwork and camarader camaraderie and learning together. That's what we've always been good at, and that's what we do. Neil, uh, stand by for update. Nav fix one zero two four ten kilometers. Yeah, baby, it's beautiful. Look at that. Radio. I'm going to take another speed check. Stand by, and then we're going to start turning in. Okay, we have travelled. A distance of po po po. No, it's not mega accurate, but it's, I think it's gonna be near enough there. About 15 kilometers in the same time they've traveled three and a half kilometers as a percentage. Uh, so that is five divided by 15 equals 23 percent times 18 knots. Wow, I'm actually making them out at about four to five kilometers now. Did you say what's the minimum they would be traveling at, Neil? I'd say four to five knots. I can't remember seeing a convoy in skirmish mode that goes less than, than four knots. Most of them are between five and seven. Yep. So this high value is between 4.2 and 4.5 and your figures can. Yep, yep. So five is good, guys. Five is good, 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 good. Right, guys, we're going to start turning in now. I'm going to have my best estimate about where I want to go. Let me just start plotting their line of best fit. Early viewers, this is where it gets exciting. So I'm going to put my line of best fit there. There is the baddies. Chug. We are here. I want to get in front of them, but not like super aggressive. I want to something like that. All right, nav and helms. Update. New course for submarine. Zero. Uh, due north. Due north. Zero, zero, zero. Roger, do not zero, zero, zero. We'll keep full speed on the top until they get within about nine kilometers and then we'll go for our dive. Bridge is secure, hatch is closed. Thank you very much. Uh, nav, I'll take a nav fix when you're ready. Zero, seven, two, four, nine point three kilometers. Bye. Mark on the map. Woo, there they are. Yeah, bang them in for five uh, knots, Cortana. Roger, five minutes in. So how far? I'm thinking I'll... for this first shot, we might do a, a three-shot spread. Yes, please. As many as we can get out. Yeah. Yeah. Alley mm -hmm. viewers, uh, you can see just what I'm seeing. Angle on bow. I would make that port. I would make that port bow zero seven five. What do you uh, think it is? Zero seven five. Go for. I'd go a bit less. Zero seven eight, maybe. Zero, yeah, we've guessed between 070 to 080 for the different people, so 0575 sounds good. Uh, we can actually work it out if we could be bothered on here, but I just, it's just not that important at the moment. We better uh, update nav, fix nav, confirm when ready. 07849 kilometers. We're still well within safety. Thank you. We're still well, well within safety margins based on what we saw before. I'll, I'll allow up to 8 kilometers and then we'll dive. That angle on bow is definitely reducing there, Cap. Yes, it is. New angle on bow. Zero. Six, five. Port. Four kilometers off track. Okay. Four, five kilometers off track. Good. Better do a nav update. Nav 15 milliradians. Oh, it's closing in now, guys. Right, we're going to be diving very shortly. Zero. Eight four four eight point five kilometers. Zero eight four four eight point five kilometers. Mark on the map. Big sexy. Four point three kilometers from track. Nice. What do you want? Two kilometers, Cortana. Firing. Uh, yeah, between two and three kilometers would be great. When we submerge, can you keep up? Can you still plot us on the map somehow, uh, navigator? Yes, so I can. Uh, nice. As long as we don't make a whole lot of right. changes real fast. You got it. And we 
Lock Keeper guns when we're dived. It's extremely important you keep us appraised of our speed, otherwise our nav plot will go out. We are now four kilometres off track. That gives us two kilometres required on battery. I think, guys, we're going to make one adjustment to the uh, our angle, and then we're going to dive. Helms, new heading zero two zero. Report when on new heading. Roger zero two zero zero two zero. Diesels off and report. Diesels off. Rob, attain and maintain 11.5 meters depth. Copy that. Conf confirm hatch shut. Stand by. Confirm. Hatch shut. Here we go, guys. Guns. Battery on battery power. Full power. Zero two zero. And Full keep, power zero two zero. Right. Keep us appraised of a speed every minute so that uh, nav how can make the plot. Right, let's get that to 11.5, maintain that please. Um, I'm going to take a nav fix while, we're, while we've got the last known position. Say when ready, uh, nav. Depth is 11 metres. Thank you. Nav is ready. Right, can we please have him at 0, 072 degrees? 0, 072, I... No, 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 concentrate. No. I'm doing a nav plot, guns. Right. Range. Stand by. At 7.2 kilometres. Set. Perfect. Oh, God, it's such a good line of best fit, guys. We've done so well today. All is well. The trap is nearly laid, Cortana. It'll be your time very Roger, soon. Um, can I get an approximate angle on bow? I'm seeing roughly 050 from your scope at the moment. You know what? I can calculate it right from here, Cortana. Can you see my screen? Or can you no, just press M? You can actually see a, 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 a blue, brown line we've just taken and it's line of travel. We can actually get oh, a perfect. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do it, but we can get an angle from there. I, Roger, everything is moving a bit slower now, so it's going to be accurate for for a little while. Say speed again, Helms. Just under seven and a half knots. Thank you. Ready for new plot. Zero seven five for seven kilometres. Roger, I got the range a bit wrong, you can see, but you get the idea. Pretty Oops. much, pretty much where it intercepts that line of best fit is where he is. How are you doing, Cortana? Working on it. Watch out. Captain, bear in mind that our position is represented now as that small circle ahead of the grayed out submarine. Duly noted. Is that a prediction? That's dead reckoning. Yes, thousand meters since we dived. Noted. I'm hoping not to have to turn again at all if we get this right. Right. We can turn. I just, as long as we don't make three turns, it's the same minute. New track offset is 2.5 kilometers. We've got 500 meters to travel, guys. Uh, I've got him about 24 degrees. Does that look right? Well, the internet says 25 degrees, so I reckon that's pretty good, Cortana. Okay. Uh, right. Guys, wow. confirm Opscope is down. Opscope is down. This is almost going too... I don't want to say it, but it's you know when it's going too well? That time? And uh, just to confirm, are you centered on the ship at the moment? I am right now. I'm on his, uh, I'm on his center. All right. Angle on bow is set. Well done. How's our depth dive officer? Bang on 11 and a half. How's, 11 to 11 and a half. Well done. How's our speed helms? 7 and a half knots holding steady. Nice. The internet wants to turn us so we are facing 90 degrees normal to the, their track line, but um, I'm tempted to be slightly offset left. I mean, it shouldn't hurt us. Yeah. Right? I've, I've ex yeah, I don't like being normal to track line. I like being slightly offset to the left like, like we are. Okay, estimated track offset is 2.1 kilometers. We've got 100 more meters to travel or so. It doesn't matter if we slightly overextend. Right, Nav, can we take an update plot, please? Zero, eight, zero, for 5.6 kilometers. Oh, look at that. God, you couldn't get more sexy to the line of best fit. You're fine tuning it now, boss. It's fine tuning it. I'm glad I did my A-level maths. None of you Americans understand what that means. But Currently showing an angle of about 21 degrees. Feels about right. Soon we'll be in a position where we can just sit and watch them yep. cross right in front of us. Almost ready. Almost ready to to hold. That's right, Jax. Trigonometry does have a, a use. Calculus, not so much. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way I could use calculus for this. Is, is our predicted position up to date on the, the map? It's 430 meters 
past where we are now. I will update us in about 20 seconds. Roger, waiting. Okay, 1.4. All stop, all stop, and report when the submarine stopped to nav. All stop, bye. I'll get you a little bit closer. I'll get you a kilometre and a half off the track, Cortana. I just want to make sure is all. Roger. Okay. No worries. As long as it's sub three kilometres, um, yeah. that gives me the, the fine uh, the fine tuning. Zero, eight, five for five point two kilometres. Hang on, eleven point six, eleven point seven metres. Sexy. Here he comes. I know he's trundling along. I look like I got a little further ahead than I really need to. But again, I'd rather have a safety margin to stay up a little bit later. Right, here they come. Well, what's our speed? Quarter of a knot and dropping. Okay. We are almost Zero there. Now. We are now still. Roger that. Well done. It's now waiting game, valid viewers. We've got to wait for them to come along here in front of us. And they will. They will do that. And then that's 15,000 tons in the bag. A review so far of what we've been up to. As they get closer, it might actually be good to drop the scope for uh, intermittently. I'm doing Just that. because they're going to be getting so close. I am leaving it. It's underwater. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, cool. Um, you can see we started off here. We charged the convoy uh, to figure our stuff out. We took our first readings. Then flowers, or they spotted us and they, they spread. So we did what we needed to do. We dove under and we hid. Eventually, because they never really got a proper sonar fix on us, they basically gave up. You know, they probably thought they just saw something. We waited until flowers disappeared. We got back on it. We got on their port side and we paralleled them. It's a, it's a long patient game, but we paralleled, paralleled them. And I wanted to maintain about nine kilometers to 10 kilometers, if you remember. And you can see these readings are all between nine and 10 kilometers, which is exactly the parallel course I wanted. As we did that, we took the best measurements we could and my nav operator put the positions and we drew a line of best fit. And the good thing about that and how maths works, it means that because we've got so many readings, that line of best fit is almost perfect. So we know exactly where he's going and we can also work out his speed. Because of that, we've allowed, uh, with a bit of common sense and a bit of uh, just basic geometry, put ourselves in a position there, about a kilometre off the known track. Now, assuming they don't zigzag, they will zigzag, but assuming they don't zigzag too much, they're going to come on right by us and we're ready for them. Zero, eight, two, four point eight kilometres. Four point eight set. I might step away for just a second. Roger. You have position marked on the map. Thank you. Yep, just like I'm underestimating, or they, they might be zigzagging a bit. In fact, you can see they are zigzagging at the time. So he's kind of zip, 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 zip out here. And you know that because if you've taken enough plots that are slightly off, you know that is. Uh, but it's fine, he doesn't appear to be majorly zigzagging. Uh, I'm going to keep my thing stowed. Right, guys, it's a great time to go for a wee wee or whatever you need. BLB. <sighs> Oh guys, I've got a few minutes to burn. I'm going to have a walk around the ship. It's important we check crew morale whenever it's possible. Guns! Two hours, two hours stuck at that dial, but we are in a perfect firing position. About one and a little bit kilometers off track, just waiting for them. They are walking into certain death. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel wonderful. Look at this. This guy's a friggin' model citizen. Hello, Rob. Um, again, you've just been staring at dials, but again, we couldn't have done it without you because, uh, well, couldn't have done it so far without you because uh, we need everyone here. Uh, how do you think the engagement's going to go? We're at 11 and a half metres, and if you guys can shoot straight, we should sink some ships. That remains to be seen. Neil! Right here. Have you enjoyed the sortie so far? Oh, boy, this is really great. Isn't it great? Great fun. A great yeah. plotting there. Very good machine here. Good teamwork. Roger. What is this? Is it Type Seven C? Question mark. Type Seven C. Yes, sir. Let's see. Oof, my favourite. Cortana. Uh, tell us about your expectations about the engagement and any trepidations you have. Uh, so I guess only concern is how close we are. Um, mm -hmm. If they start zigzagging, we could easily end up inside the convoy, mm -hmm. uh, which will make it harder to uh, get the calculations done in a timely manner. Uh, but other than that, firing three fish at an unsuspecting target at close range, I think we're going to kill that one. Nice, Roger. Also, I think they're actually bearing slightly right of our suspected line, so that should actually give us a few more hundred meters to play with. Now, if we better do a fix, stand by. Zero, seven, six degrees, 4.5 kilometers. You can see our map, Cortana, you can see his spade slightly right, um, which is, so he's going to be right at the track a bit. I'm assuming they haven't seen us, because if they'd seen us, they would have actually, you know, gone a bit more hardcore. So it's going to be a little Roger. bit of a further shot, 
Uh, what's our battery strength guns? Uh, battery strength is at six kiloamps. Okay, we've got plenty. That's about, that's about seventy percent. Yeah. So if we need a small chase, we can do a small chase, but we'll keep an eye on them. Completion okay. raises observation scope. Uh, if you're happy, it won't be seen. But I'm just literally popping. I'm literally popping very quickly. Uh, they are closing really quickly now. I'm going to need a nav scratch that. I'm going to need a nav fix really quickly. By the way, what there most, what the other guys do is watch my Twitch stream, so then you can see my stream. But it's a bit late now. Zero seven four for four kilometers. There yeah. he is. Oof, 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 oof. Four kilometers, guys. Say, let's give them a steel anim. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Uh, the valid viewers want to close close the distance. I no, I suggest we stay where we are, guys. U boat's best attribute is patience, guys. Patience, patience, patience. They have what's our course? <laughs> two three. Uh, course is two zero uh zero two zero. Uh zero two. Yeah, we've drifted yeah, we just drifted. a little bit. It shouldn't affect anything. Roger, Roger. Just affects uh, the navigation just a little bit. Yeah, that will explain uh, why it might be drifting away from the line of best fit. I'm watching your stream now, Cap, and mm. it uh, it does look like the angle on bow is about right. So we're probably not going to mess with that. Roger, I'm going to take a quick reading and pop up. Okay, he's at 30 mm radiance. We'll take a new fix, please, Nav. Range, exactly 3.79 kilometers. Cortana, can you check a map and see what's happened? What we know is that the map, the distance, and his track in relation to us is accurate. Can you see how they're drifting? Can you see how it's drifting off to the right? I think that's because it's actually yeah. us drifting left, back and left. So I think we actually need to think about closing, closing because we're at, actually going to be out of our shot parameters if he continues on that new line of best fit. Let me just plot that new line of best I, fit. I don't know that he is. I think he might have just been a little bit further away than you thought. Yeah, all right. Because if he was a little bit further away than you thought, let me see. Yeah, your measurement should get more accurate as he gets close to cameras. You'd yeah, well they are, but the, change. the problem is he's no longer following the line of best fit. Now, bear in mind we don't actually know where we are in him anymore. My concern is we've actually we're actually drifting away from him, which is going to get worse and worse. That's my so, concern. So, can you see the green line that I just drew? It's pop. It's possible he's doing something more like that. Julie yeah, noted. That would be that would be an equally valid best fit, I can say. Okay, well we'll keep taking. Yeah, because if there were one or two in there where you underestimated the range by a little bit, yeah. then or if you're you know, or if the, the one that was, what, two ago um, was overestimated, then yeah, it's... Duly noted. You know. oh, wow, well, that's closing quickly now. Zero, three, three milliradians. Three, five, zero, zero kilometers. 3.5 kilometers. Yeah, keep in mind that with the, uh, the periscope not being able to go all the way to full extension, it's mm -hmm. going to, uh, we will, what? Overestimate the range slightly, and the swell is definitely not helping. Roger. When are we thinking about firing in that case, Cortana? He is now 3.5 kilometers. Right now, angle on bow is just is right around 35 degrees. You got it. Assuming you're point, assuming you're pointed at the guy. Yep. So, um, let's see, what are we about 40 degrees angle of impact? We'll give it a little bit longer. Roger, Roger. I'll take a new so, head. I'll give him two more degrees, and we'll take a new reading. I'd like to wait until he gets to at least sixty degrees angle on bow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just so that we build, you know, good habits for firing torpedoes. Roger. In the future. Am I right in saying no one feels the need to crawl towards him? I don't think that we do. All right. I think as long as we're going to get within two point five kilometers of him, I really don't think we need to get any closer. All right, I'm going to take a reading and go up and. Oh my goodness gracious me, 36 milliradians. Uh, zero, six, zero, four, three point two kilometers. You can calculate his angle of bow probably off there, Cortana. Yeah, so Cortana's green line looks pretty good actually, as well as the original black line. Yeah, I'll double check that. We're taking a new reading now actually, stand by. 40, he's now 40 milliradians, stand by, 40 milliradians. Oh, 2.8 kilometers, okay. He is zero, five, four degrees, four, 2.8 kilometers. Best guess on angle on bow? I would say that is zero, 0.60 zero degrees angle on bow. That seems like a bit much. Can you see my screen, Cortana? Yeah, I'm looking at what it. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? 
Closer to 45, maybe 50. All right, you got it. Captain, what was your uh, nav readings again? Zero, five, two degrees for 2.8 kilometers. When he crosses through 2.5, we can take the shot. Just plotted, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Cortana, about 45 degree angle on bow, increasing rapidly now. Okay, he's now 2.7. Yeah, I set it to 47 at the time. He's now at zero, 050. Zero. New plot about to come up, 45 milliradians. New plot, please. Zero, yep. four, nine degrees, 2.5 kilometers, 2.5 kilometers. Plotted. Beautiful plot. Look at that math. Right, Cortana, are you tracking this on map? Affirmative. I think we shoot on the next one. Got Pop it. up, conf confirm everything looks right mm -hmm. with the range, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll go ahead and fire a spread. Roger. Okay, I'm going to replot at zero four five degrees. Then. What's our course, right. navigator? Zero two six degrees. Zero two three, roger. Zero two six. Zero two six, roger. Yet. New plot, yeah. zero four five degrees, 2.4 kilometers. 2.4 set, ready to fire. They have marked the position. Mark, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Right. Are you ready for me to fire, Cortana? Affirmative. Sent a mass. Los! Los! Timer started. Okay, baby. Three shot spread. I've got to keep the thing down. Let me know when you've got a rough TTI. Reloading. What's the escape the plan? Uh, none at the moment. <laughs> and the stream go crazy. He's now at zero, four, two. Time to impact. One minute. Roger. Torpedo depth was? Four meters. Beautiful. He is now at zero four zero. TTI, please. TTI, 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, come on, come on, three, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck, right in mid mass, Cortana! <laughs> He's dead, he's dead. I've got another one right next to him, Cortana. All right, give me, give me coordinates. Okay, zero, seven, zero degree port bow, ready to fire. Same range, or uh, maybe- Same range? No, maybe 2.8 kilometers, 2.7 kilometers, ready to fire. Ah, damn, check my screen, check my screen. Two. We've got a conflict. Yep, two. He's going behind, scratch it, he's- Oh, we hit him by accident! Oh my goodness gracious me! We just hit him by accident. <laughs> Medium tanker type 20 hit. Nice. We need to follow Medium that tanker, up. Type 25 sunk. We need to follow that up. That is. Okay, new target. Sorry, Cortana. Uh, caught up in that. The, sh the shitty little one. Oh, fuck. Shitty little one, Roger. I'm on him. Uh, we are exactly on beam, on his 90 degree beam now. 90 set. I'm, Range. I'm aiming at him. Shit. Mast is break. Uh, he was a Girl light keys. merchant. Uh, 21 meters. Stand by doing it. He is at 035 minute radians for 21. Uh, 035 is range of two kilometers. Two kilometers. Two kilometers set, ready in all respects. Los! Los! Unfortunately, he's going evasive, but you never know, Cortana. Uh, TTI when you have it. Uh, TTI is going to be right around Jesus. 1 minute 50 seconds. Christ, a guy has just walked straight into us by accident. We've got to take him out. Have you got any more torps? Uh, negative. Checking, uh, re actually, uh, affirmative. Uh, mm -hmm. tube one reloaded. A guy has just walked straight into us. Angle on bow changing rapidly, but currently 1, 1, 0 range. Break. Fucking close. Is there, is there exactly 1.5 kilometers? Angle on bow now one two zero. We can pop this guy. Sorry, range. Range one point five kilometers. Ready in all respects. Close. Close. We'll track him down and, and we'll track him down and probably use a deck gun on him as well. Flowers hasn't seen us yet. Okay, we missed the other guy, but he's swapping all over the place. Okay, we've got time. Please, have you got any more torpedoes? Uh, negative. Only two five. Request get this. Request let's get the gun and finish these guys off. Or what do you want to do, guys? Or do you want to wait? Flowers is turning I, away I would, from us. Flowers are turning away. I would wait until uh, these two fish hit or miss. Um, first carp, 
40 seconds on the uh, the first torp. Uh, don't know for the second one. I, I need to rebuy in the multiple. All right. Uh, we can count them probably as misses. The first guy's turned around, so that's not going to hit. This guy's also. Okay, the major thing is the flowers. And what's the flowers going to do? He's, he's searching his searchlight all over the place, but he's not found my little guy yet. Confirm Ops is down. Ops is down. Right. We can hunt these guys, guys. They're turning around and reversing direction, but all is good. We We're, could just turn around for a bit and... Uh, I don't think we need we to, Cardano. Sort of I, th I think they're fucking themselves up, if I'm honest. Flowers is now heading away. Flowers is now heading what? away. Why don't you get a range of the flowers? Negative, because um, I've got a lovely big juicy target for us. I just want... Uh, I know what to do. Um, I'm just making sure that we're not going to get hit with the death gun. Roger, roger. Uh, have you got a mass height for uh, flowers? Uh, mass height, 20 meters. Stand by. Fuck, is it a shit aspect? Uh, that is 10 meter radius. Oh, we got another one! 20,000 tons of shipping. Uh, 20 meters, did you say? Yep, he is at 7 meters. kilometers. Spinning around in circles at 7 kilometers. Alright, we could probably surface at the moment, and if we if we back away while firing, we might be able to stay out of his range and reload the torps. Okay. Surface! Surfacing. As soon as we're surface, I need a man on the front gun. There's my, uh, if you look at the map, there's the position we actually are. Well done. Priority target at 034. Shoot that guy. Should be surface pretty much now. Roger, look about 20 degrees right, and you'll see the sucker. Diesel's on! Alright, let's try 1.8. Cortana, you've actually got a closer target. Look right, good look right, you've got a closer target. He's closer. Affirmative. New heading of 060, full ahead. We've got the time before the flowers gets to us. Full ahead, 060. We're being charged, but we've got time to sink him. Time to, we, we'll be. We're turning just for a second. And then Jesus. we'll give you... The uh, swell is terrible. Yep. Is there a way to stabilize this? No. Nope. Uh, try holding the left mouse button down to see if that works. Uh, that's how you fire. <laughs> okay. No. No. Okay, full ahead. The one on the left. The one at Barry 15 is turning left now. All right, Cortana. See what you can get him. See if you can get him. Flower at bearing 20. I'm watching. Coming directly I'm watching. Us. Right, I'm going to call your shots in. Sure. Slightly to the... Sure. Sure. That'll be short. Sure. God, this is tough. This is a shitty mini game. It, correct range, it was slightly left. Correct range, it was slightly left. We're closing Bob on him. turning to port. Bad shot. Ah, that'll be short. Flowers firing at us. All right, we've got a few seconds yet. Good range, it was slightly right. Air recharge ready to dive when necessary. Watch out. Slightly short. We're gonna go start the air compressor. We're gonna wild and pretty much oh, useless. This now. might hit, but it doesn't matter. Has recharge now. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Roger. This is too significant. Cortana, I'm back in the, the ship. Tell me when you're back in the ship. Did do it. Good man. Are you back in the ship? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. Engines off. The report closed. went off. Engine all engines stop. Dive, dive, dive. Roger, 13 meters and maintain. Electrics on, full power, ahead. Electrics on, full speed ahead. See you later, flowers, you friggin' douchebag, you missed. Captain, I do need to remind you about Gretchen. Sorry, Gretchen. New tar, a new heading, 090. We're going out swinging. 090, I. When does Gretchen need you off, Break Neil? She just needs me back alive, that's all. Roger, uh, we can't promise that, Neil. Oh. You knew what you we'll signed up for. 
Well done, guys. Confirmed depth. Have we got any torpedoes loaded, Cortana? Depth is an and a half. Tubes two, four, and five are loaded. Speed, guns. Speed, eight knots. Depth's just passing 13. I'll start trying to stabilize it. Hello, Mr. Flowers. Hello, Mr. Brandon Flowers. He doesn't know we're coming straight towards him, closing the distance. Uh, just a heads up, we're down to T2s. They're slower torpedoes, but they won't be able to see the damn thing. It's okay, Cortana. I'm a slow, slow man. We're going to cross right in front of his big, fat, stupid ship. Guns, take us, break. New heading, 065, full ahead. You can suck Zero, my six, face. Five, five, sir. Depth about 14 meters, just rising a little Beautiful. bit. Beautiful. Course 065. Random flowers is going right by us like a friggin' douchebag. <laughs> He's missed us. He's missed us. Right, I'm gonna take him on his word here. I'm not sure exactly how his Aztec works, but uh, new heading, guns of 075 full ahead. 075, aye. <laughs> Look at him. Friggin' douchebag. Course 075. I am. He's right on top of us. That's all right, guys. I've been in worse situations. We're going to turn into him. New heading. Zero, one, three, zero. Full ahead. One, one three, zero. I. I apologize, Gretchen. <laughs> oh, shit. He's right on top of us. Rob, crash dive. Crash dive. Take us as deep as you'll go. I want to crash dive it. I'm gonna watch these friggin' barrels come down. Guns, new heading, hard right, 180. I see him! He's missed. Yeah, do it, do it, we can avoid his barrels, we can avoid his barrels. Yeah, you screw, you screw, boy. Splashes. I reckon this, this turn will defeat him. Death blow, death 25 meters in Additional splashes. I can see his prop. It's miles away. He's nowhere near us. Current heading guns. Uh, 160 heading over to 180. Thank you. Tell me when we're on. How's that depth doing, Rob? 35 meters and descending. How deep is the sea here, uh, Neil? Over, over crush depth. Roger. What's crush depth? Uh, anything over 200 meters is kind of sketchy. Get to 50 and stay at 50, uh, Rob. Okay, so I've okay. gone that way. He's gone that way. So now I want to, I want to turn that way. So I want to go. New heading helmsman, 130 and punch it. 130, aye, sir. Oh, guys, unfortunately, I'm fully out of time. So we're gonna have to have go and have a guns duel. Has anyone got a problem with a guns duel? Nope. Um, it's nope. been an excellent session, but I think this is the best way to go out now. Bearing in mind that I'm gonna be in trouble. Uh, surface, surface, surface. Someone get on the gun and let's have a good gun duel. Ready to go. Surface. Guns, I'll need you uh, to point us in the right direction when I find him. I think we beat him there, by the way. I crossed over his line and then crossed over his line again, and I don't think he would have found us then, by the way. Course 130, hold steady. Actually, if somebody else wants to take the gun, uh, we yep. could maybe try uh, firing torpedoes at him. All right. Passing 30 meters. We're just going to go nuts. Passing 20 meters. Stand by, stand by. 10 meters. Oh, we've got a shot on him. We've got a shot on him, Carlton. I just got to get our thing yep. around. Tell me when we're surfaced. Surfaced should be just a little narrow. Fuck, why can't I see All our ship? All I need is angle and battle. No, you don't because it's too far away at the moment. Guns! Going back, start the compression. Zero, two, zero, left full, hard! Zero, two, zero. Right, Engines on! The deck motors on, motors on! Is, my, is the torpedo ready to fire, Cortana? Doesn't matter, doesn't uh, matter. Oh, Gretchen, oh, Gretchen. Worry about Gretchen, we're not going to care where we go. Oh! That was awesome, guys. What a freaking way to win. I was right. He, he, he had lost us. We could have escaped here if we had time, but we don't. 21,000 tons sunk on our first day back with a new crew. That's about as good yeah. as it gets, Valued Humanoids. Um, excellent point. Nav was brilliant. Helms was perfect. Dive was perfect. Cortana's shots were actually too good. We, we killed one vessel and accidentally killed another afterwards. So that was brilliant. 
That was as good as it gets, really. And a bunch of excitement and a dogfight at the end. Pretty cool, right? Valued viewers, where you search suitably entertained. Any follow-up comments from my guys? No, that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Well done, guys. I'm chuffed with that. We'll do it all again next week, probably at the earlier time. Right, I've got to get on with stuff, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you later, my crew. Later. Thank you. Have a good one, Thank you very everyone. much.